If you're really, really wrestling, uh, definitely go outside and get, if you can't get out of your, your mind, get into your body, do something physically active. What's up guys, welcome to 5-Minute Fatherhood. So one of the things that I'm a little bit concerned about that I wanted to talk to you, Jeff, about and uh, also just <clears throat> get this conversation going is that this can often be a tough season where I think a lot of negative emotions and even depression can kind of hit us when there's so much change, there's a lot of loss. Um, and especially as we transition from the chaos of sort of just the virus and all the stay at home stuff to just the economic um, devastation that a lot of people are, are, are feeling. There was, a, I know during the Great Depression, you know, right at the, uh, the, the stock market crash, there was just this huge surge in suicide and, and depression. And I think, I think where a lot of that is coming from is that for especially a lot of men, we get a lot of our positive emotion from goal-directed action. So we're like seeing ourselves progress against like big goals that we want to have in our life. Maybe it's our career, maybe it's where we, how we want to set our family up. It could be our house, it could be a lot of things. And so, and when there's a sudden economic disruption and you see yourself be pushed back a year, two years, five years uh, against that goal, it can be just overwhelming emotionally. And I just wanted to talk about that because I think that can be really, really, really tough to deal with. And as believers, I think it's really important that we think about how we handle just sort of an onslaught of negative emotion that can come from just feeling like we've just been set back. Um, and just a couple of tips, and then Jeff, I want to get your, t your take on this. One is that I think it's really important, guys, that during these seasons, you take time to process through your emotions on a daily basis. So um, that could be journaling in the morning. Um, I think another aspect of this could be going for walks and really praying through your emotions. One of the things that I find most helpful uh, during times like this, if I'm really wrestling through some dark uh, emotions, is just praying through the Psalms. Just I like to put the Psalms on. Um, just audio and just sort of pray through those as I walk. Um, another really helpful uh, tip is that if you're really, really wrestling, um, definitely go outside and get, if you can't get out of your, your mind, get into your body, do something physically active. Um, usually when you're in a dark state, you oftentimes don't think that'll work. But man, if you really go out for a run or you do something that's really physically active, you'll be surprised um, at the focus you'll suddenly get. You'll, you'll pop out of it when your body starts to really rev up. Um, and just those moments can be really helpful to get some clarity of thought so that you can enter into prayer, uh, really process things with a little bit more sort of full perspective. But yeah, Jeff, what are your thoughts about guys who might be just wrestling with some dark, dark moments, dark evenings, or just totally. dark seasons? Yeah, I mean, I think you nailed it, but I think the the real big part of it, especially with guys, is we have to we have, we we weren't taught how to process our emotions, so we need to learn how to process our emotions. We need to learn being okay, vul being vulnerable. I think what I would say too is be encouraged that Jesus Himself, the truly human one, but also as a man, the true man. Um, shows us clearly that he's very in tune with his emotions, how he feels. Mm. He weeps, he's sensitive, he's thoughtful, he's gentle. Um, and a lot of those things uh, <clears throat> show us that that is what we're called to get to. And I think you get there by at least being comfortable with emotions being not the thing that's lowered, but the thing that's the things that tell a story. So you have to really use them as signals, as signposts of what, what am I feeling? Why am I feeling? What's going on here? What's this pointing towards? Um, and I think that's a really, really helpful thing. Um, and a lot of times, cause this is different if there is, if it starts going a little bit more clinical depression, et cetera. But a lot of times just the act of processing an emotion in a healthy manner is all it takes to just make it go away. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. just a conversation with a wife or a friend or whatever, where you really feel seen and heard and validated and you feel like you are honest, true and vulnerable. 99% of the time, it just goes away after that. It doesn't feel as pent up. It feels diffused. It feels like a balloon that lets the air out of it. And then the balloon is just a deflated balloon. That's like, okay, it's, it's empty. It's fine. It's, it's moved on. Yeah. Now, not always. There's caveats, like I said. But um, I think for most guys, if you can practice that yeah. and be honest with your wife to help you with that, you don't need to play the dumb game of, oh, I'm strong. And I think that's just kind of annoying, right. ridiculous, not helpful. Just like your wife is there to actually be <laughs> yes. uh, someone who listens, who, who takes it in, who absorbs it, who can be helpful. Um, and when you do that, then it really changes things. And I think if you just spend the next couple of months on that, you'll see a radical, radical change. Yeah, I love that. Don't let it build up, guys. Uh, really process it. 
um, and think about this on a daily basis, especially if you see it, if you feel like it is building up, if you notice those <clears throat> times of just negative thoughts, uh, just negative feelings are increasing, then you've got to increase that amount of processing Jeff's describing. So that's really important. One thing we want to let you guys know is that we have launched a new podcast. So we've gotten so many requests from people that this, our, our podcast at Family Teams are just too male dominated. <laughs> Me and Jeff, <laughs> we love talking about this stuff on Five Minute Fatherhood, Dad's Building Team. So we launched the Family Teams podcast. Um, and April's on there, Alyssa's on there. Um, we've, we're going to be releasing four episodes where um, April and I and Jeff and Alyssa talked about um, one of the most influential essays we've ever read about family. Um, we, we did four episodes on that. So those are coming out. So check out Family Teams podcast on Apple, Spotify, wherever you guys are listening. And, uh, and, you, that's something that would be great to listen to uh, with your spouse. 